NATO is working hard to break the deadlock that would allow Finland and Sweden to join the military alliance. A meeting has been organized between the Turkish and Finnish president, as well as the Swedish prime minister, on the margins of Tuesday's summit in Madrid. Turkey is currently blocking the two countries' applications, but Sweden says it's working hard to find a solution to Ankara's concerns. One of the issues raised by Turkey concerns Sweden's response to Turkey's request for extraditions. These matters are handled swiftly and carefully by our legal system in accordance with European Convention on Extradition. Sweden is not and will not be a safe haven for terrorism. Finland and Sweden applied for NATO membership in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. But Ankara wants both countries to end their support for the PKK and other Kurdish groups and to lift all arms export restrictions to Turkey. According to some experts, it's time for an agreement to be reached, given Ankara's importance to the alliance and the war in Ukraine. Turkey, by its geographic uh, position, but also by its political orientation, has an enormously important role to play in, in the uh, uh, Russian war in Ukraine in trying to a uh, constrain Russia's action by, for example, constraining the access to the Black Sea, which is legally is uh, Ankara uh, is entitled to do, and also by delivering the kind of weapon systems uh, that the Ukrainians need to, to, to be able to uh, prevail on the battlefield. Turkey says it will meet with the two Nordic leaders at the summit in Madrid, but underlined that it doesn't mean it will change its position on the issue. Christopher Pitches, Euronews, Brussels.